Hi to all. Uh, I'm Dorian Ilinchich. Um, I'm head of IT department at Faculty of Kinesiology. My, that is my primary job. Uh, my secondary job, uh, I'm a Ruby on Rails developer, also uh, PHP and all, all other stuff that I will talk about to you about. Um, so uh, this project is all uh, when we started. Uh, uh, a colleague of mine started a smart uh, hotel room system. Uh, so he needed the integration uh, with uh, IPTV uh, hotspot system to his uh, hotel uh, system. Uh, so everything we did uh, was uh, developed and manufactured uh, here in Croatia. Uh, some boring part I will talk about um, uh, are how to get IPTV streams from uh, uh, satellite providers or DBT providers, uh, how you can connect uh, to the hotspot system, um, how we get connected to uh, room sensors, uh, how we control the room, um, something about uh, middleware and uh, set of boxes we used, and um, uh, about uh, some custom firmwares we had to do to control the TV sets. Uh, well, this is all the boring part. Uh, the interesting part were the problems we had uh, during this implementation. So uh, to get the uh, streams, uh, we had the idea to use uh, Ubuntu-based Linux servers. Um, in the middle, we had to add uh, some uh, multicast switches um, and to acquire uh, signals uh, or TV stations uh, we had to use some DBS uh, uh, TBS uh, uh, cards. So uh, things that went wrong first was kernel updates. Uh, the problem with uh, these TBS cards uh, that uh, are um, they need to recompile uh, the whole kernel. So every time uh, a new kernel uh, upstreams from the Ubuntu servers, we had to update um, the whole kernel also and the drivers. So the problem was, um, let's say, uh, when uh, power went out, the systems rebooted uh, when we still didn't have UPS. Um, and of course, streams didn't work. Uh, we also had uh, big trouble with uh, multicast streams. It was very annoying uh, bug because uh, set of boxes get the stream and in about five minutes uh, the stream stops. Uh, we didn't know what went wrong. Was it the uh, servers misconfigured? Was it the switches? Uh, was it some problem with uh, set of boxes? Uh, and in the end, uh, it turned out um, on a Ubuntu service, you had to run additional uh, daemon that controls the multicast uh, process. And uh, finally, uh, Intel chipset. Uh, in some specific cases, on some CPUs, uh, the PCI Express uh, uh, cards don't work properly because uh, they disabled the uh, 1x uh, performance on uh, specific uh, server uh, uh, CPUs. Uh, so uh, the maximum number of cards per server is one. Of course, we uh, expected to run three cards uh, in one server. Uh, so the patch was that uh, TBS send us special cards specifically for this one uh, Xeon uh, processor. Uh, next, uh, how we connected to the hotspot system. Uh, the idea was uh, when the guest uh, came into the room the first time, uh, he used the card to open the door, uh, the TV would uh, turn on and uh, some uh, movie about the hotel uh, would show up and the uh, uh, guest would get his username and password uh, uh, on the screen. Uh, 
Uh, we used uh, Mikrotik uh, routers uh, and Mikrotik APs uh, for wireless, and we control it by API uh, of the Mikrotik. So that was the idea, and th this part uh, worked very well. Uh, but one thing with wireless uh, was the bed cabling, because uh, the building of the hotel took longer than expected. Uh, we had little time to uh, correctly uh, put the access points on the wall. Um, so something like this happened. Uh, uh, also, uh, we had problem with wireless with the iPhones. Problem with the iPhones uh, are that they have a um, very low antenna for 2.4 gigahertz uh, band. Uh, so the uh, uh, power that uh, iPhone transmits is about six dBi's uh, lower than the some Android phone. So you have to have uh, uh, much uh, uh, more uh, access points than you would expect. Uh, uh, next uh, thing we had to do was uh, connect uh, uh, our system to uh, room sensors and billing system. Uh, since we created the controllers, uh, we used APIs to communicate between uh, these uh, two systems. Uh, but one problem we had uh, was multiple sensors, because um, room control had uh, one sensor reading. Uh, we had uh, three different sensors reading, one from the uh, or primary sensor, one on the uh, card reader. Uh, so um, th there were inconsistency of uh, showing the right temperature. And one big problem we had was inconsistent data from billing system. Uh, uh, we connected to billing system through some uh, TXT files uh, that, uh, that billing system only provides. Uh, and it was really a mess until, until they upgraded the, the new version of software. Um, uh, this is the screen uh, that you get uh, on the TV set if you want to uh, control the room. Uh, as you see, you can uh, see the statuses of the uh, doors, uh, windows, um, uh, card, if you put it in, um, is the cooling or uh, SOS signal uh, on or off. Uh, and you can set uh, the do not distribute, uh, do not no, distrib uh, do not disturb signal or call the room service or the maid or unlock the door. Um, so this is the part uh, we all did in-house, so we didn't have, uh, we didn't get any problems uh, with this. Uh, so I will talk to you about, a little about uh, our middleware. So uh, this middleware is uh, uh, based on uh, open source uh, middleware uh, by Infomir. It's called Stalker. Um, but we had to modify it uh, heavily uh, to serve our uh, needs. Um, the problem with, uh, with this uh, middleware is uh, uh, it changes a lot. Uh, let's say YouTube channel, uh, uh, Google changed uh, the APIs recently, and uh, YouTube didn't work for a month or two. Um, uh, this is the screen uh, of the channels you can select, and on this part uh, you, you see the, the preview of the channel. Um, some things about uh, set of boxes. It is based on uh, a WebKit, uh, so it uh, renders everything uh, okay. Um, and it has extensions to JavaScript uh, uh, on uh, multimedia, and you can uh, call uh, local uh, services on set of box if you need. And this is the part where uh, uh, that saved us uh, on, the, on the big problem we had. 
uh, uh, we also had to uh, create custom firmwares uh, for set of boxes. Uh, we had to customize the boot up screen so the, that the first time the set of box boots, it shows the hotel uh, name and uh, everything. Um, and one thing we also had to do is uh, customize uh, repeat comments. Uh, one problem we had with uh, older guests that they used to press the power button really long and the uh, set of box logged this as 10 power on or off uh, sequences. Uh, so the TV would power on, power off, power on, power off. Um, uh, we also had to create some custom stuff uh, with small shell scripts. Uh, the biggest problem we had uh, was that the specific TV set that came came only two weeks before the hotel opening, and uh, it was a non-standard TV set uh, that uh, we didn't able to um, to configure it properly, the way that it would turn off when the HDMI signal would be lost and then turn on back uh, uh, when the uh, signal came on. Uh, so we had to make a way to create uh, a way to power on and off uh, the TV set. Uh, one feature that LG TVs had is the it has uh, RS232 uh, connection on the back. Uh, so we had to order 300 USB to RS232 adapters, hack the firmware, hack the middleware, um, and uh, create uh, everything that, that it will work the way it's supposed. Uh, uh, so the conclusion, uh, at the end of the project, um, I have to learn uh, all this stuff uh, about network uh, administrations. Uh, I also uh, created uh, the wireless scripts, um, also all the scripts uh, as Linux administration uh, uh, installing uh, Ubuntu servers. Uh, high availability because you cannot have uh, uh, downtown uh, on a hotel system with uh, 300 guests in it. Um, also, I was a developer, so um, I had to develop uh, custom pages like uh, that on uh, welcome screen, uh, uh, on uh, room uh, setup uh, and um, alarms. Um, so the main point I would like to uh, show here is uh, that you sometimes had to uh, take the jobs uh, that you are not currently know how to do it, but you know you have the power to expand yourself and uh, um, know how to uh, and expand your knowledge in the process of uh, finishing uh, the project. Well, let's clap it. We have, time, so we have some time for questions. Raise your hand. Uh, maybe some purely hardware question. Mm. Uh, is the uh, building control system was separate uh, from your installation and you have to integrate or is this the part of your design? Uh, I didn't get the first part of your question. Uh, yeah, I mean, a building control system like room sensors, uh, fan coils, and all other stuff that are in a hotel room, are they a part of your installation or they are separate? Building, uh, building automation mm -hmm. system that you have to integrate and how you actually did uh, you integrate with those. Oh, okay. Uh, so the main controller for the room uh, was our, uh, our system 
but uh, fan coils uh, we had uh, outside APIs, uh, it, it was uh, Daikin. Uh, so the lights was uh, also the other firm that created them, but also we had to integrate uh, into that. Um, so the main point, uh, uh, we created APIs uh, on our system on uh, controller on uh, SCADA that we had to, uh, for a room, and uh, my system with uh, IPTV that has to have all the data from the room services. Hi, uh, sorry if I understood correctly, your software is actually running on the set of boxes that are connected to the TV. Uh, it's running on? On the set of boxes that are controlling the TV. Uh, no, uh, it, it is middleware uh, that all uh, the fun happens, but uh, JavaScript is uh, on the set of boxes, and it all um, the set of boxes get um, this data uh, through the API to the JavaScript calls. Uh, and so updates everything. So the, the HTML and JavaScript is running. Yes, on. yes. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, do you use wireless to, to do uh, streaming, or uh, those set of boxes are connected uh, using the LAN? Uh, could you please? Uh, are set STBs connected using wireless, or no, uh, no, no? LAN? It's all Ethernet. We have uh, about. Uh, 25 uh, switches on the whole hotel, uh, so we are using multicast. The main difference between, between unicast, uh, broadcast, and multicast is that um, uh, multicast is something like unicast, but uh, every each set of box uh, subscribes to a specific uh, IP address, and uh, the stream only streams to that. Uh, set a box through multiple switches. Uh, that is why, because uh, we, we have a problem with uh, five minutes, um, the way uh, multicast works, it, it automatically logs you out uh, from multicast group after five minutes. Uh, those five minutes are because of kernel upgrades, right? Um, these five minutes are something uh, uh, is built in multicast uh, protocol. And it was very painful to you change something on uh, switches, uh, you watch five minutes for TV and wait for something to happen. Uh, and then uh, it, it, it stops again, then you configure something on, on servers, and uh, uh, then again it stops after five minutes, it's very frustrating. <laughs> 